Much love and blessings, everyone. How are you today? I'm uh, as equally thrilled as everyone else uh, participating in this particular conference. I just so appreciate the concept and the aspect of always learning. And I learned a lot from you, Cynthia, and I look forward to learning a lot from the rest of the contributors on this panel. Uh, my name is Lauren Breland, nickname proper. I have close to 30 years in the human services industry. I've worked from licking envelopes to sitting on the board of directors and everything in between. Uh, I have focused some of my studies uh, and, and my uh, focus has been on education in the field of education, as well as working with youth uh, in the foster care system, aging out, uh, adult education, uh, civil rights. And I am currently working back into uh, a new project uh, with formerly incarcerated, uh, assisting with their re-entry back into society. Uh, I don't have pictures for this because this particular, and I thought about that. So I was like, look at my pictures. You know what I mean? But I will provide some level of, of, of transcript <laughs> based on the fact it's kind of like a sensitive subject. So I hope that my voice and my words and my premise carry you. Uh, I wanna talk to you all about uh, carefully com um, canvassing communities for effective exchange when building programs. Uh, COVID has definitely changed the way we see and look at things at this point in time. And even some of your more established programs have changed considerably without you knowing um, because the audience in which you now um, service has modified greatly. Uh, I want to focus in when I say canvassing, I'm going to read from my notes so I can be specific and stay on point in time. Um, uh, canvassing is used almost in every phase of my profession, um, most familiarly with most folks in regards to politics as a technique in order to solicit a vote or sway position, but also used to sell subscriptions, uh, insurance, cookies, I was Girl Scout, uh, and introduce and explore new situations and concerns. Uh, I used uh, specific canvassing in US, uh, working for the US Census in regards to gather, gathering data. I used it in the uh, United States Peace Corps in regards to introducing myself to my community and informing uh, them of my purpose and building a, 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 con a consensus around a particular project. And then even with the school system, when I would build programs, I would have to survey the parents and canvas the entire school system before I could really look at building an effective program. Well, this particular project that I am currently engaged in is the form of a boarding home uh, for uh, individuals exiting the uh, judicial system, prison system. And, um, its purpose is to develop a safe space and lodging, uh, provide wraparound services and long-term living. And um, how I came about this uh, was that I have a very dear friend who owns a lot of properties and his, his choice of, of residence for his properties is a rather vulnerable population. And so he gets referrals from the parole and probation system, as well as social services, and really covets a, a very vulnerable population. However, his interest in this is almost purely monetary, as it should be uh, to a certain extent. And we used to have dialogue about some of his concerns with some of his residents, his tenants. And, uh, when I realized uh, who he was mostly housing, uh, we actually made a bet that I could come in and devise something that would make it monetary for him, but also uh, help bring these people whole. Uh, so I'll give you an example. I had to come up, I had to canvas the community. I actually live within the community in one of his um, um, buildings. And uh, I'll give you an example of the individuals that I'm working with and I'm doing some case management now. Uh, 
gentleman who did 32 years in the system straight, went in at 17 and came out at 50 and um, has no skills, no, no, no practical learning skills. And uh, through my canvassing of him in this dialogue and moving throughout our relationship, I have come to find out that he has never really paid rent, but now our social service system gives him money to pay rent, but not enough for pocket money. So we're dealing with these issues. Another uh, individual that I'm currently doing case management with is, um, has done 14 years in the system um, and is an ex-offender as well as an ex-sexual So that limits his ability. So, you know, and having my conversations with them and finding out what are some of these issues that he's engaged with in these roadblocks. Uh, one of the important things I have found in regards to canvassing this community is not only looking at the demographic that would be served and having a series of conversations with a lot of these individuals, but also with the service agencies that provide service for them. Uh, in canvassing and meeting some particular needs, uh, an individual had a dental issue. Well, since COVID, uh, a lot of the dentists have been come back into the area uh, or, or, or are practicing. And so there is one community center that was the mainstay for health in the particular community. And uh, they only have one dentist, one dentist. You can only get an appointment once a month. And so he was in a crisis, what do you do? But I learned this through canvassing and meeting his particular needs. Um, I look at canvassing and I'm just gonna come back to this because I don't wanna run short of time. I look at canvassing as also a very strong networking mechanism. Uh, with this current project and we're deserving the sake building this particular um, project, there's several points to the canvassing that I was able to do through not only speaking with the residents, but community service agencies, and then also my colleagues and my professionals that were doing that as this advisory board to bring this about, is that the canvassing has assisted us in obtaining information more specific to the population. Um, helped me to develop an advisory board because I started calling around and asking my, my, my colleagues and, and individuals in the industry about certain things. I was able to find out additional information. Uh, I was able also in my canvassing in order to meet needs through my community, through my case management of several of these tenants is find out about the service-based agencies, how they deliver services, what that criteria is. And then also the physical environment. There is no store within two walking miles that has fresh fruits and vegetables where I am. Um, there is no store that has like a healthy smoothie drink or, or better meals, purposes and things of this nature. Uh, there are no activities, there are no bars, there are no social cafes, anything of that nature. Uh, so when we look at that and, and, and what is you know important for a community in order to build through that canvassing. This is some of the data that we came up with. What's more important for me at this point in time is that this canvassing has opened up a dialogue uh, uh, and has expanded thoughts on this subject that most individuals did not pay mind to. Uh, for instance, my canvassing has found me to know that there are specific words. Now, in New York State, they have abolished the word inmate. It's a law. And you know, that would be something, oops, sorry, that was my timer. I have one minute to summarize. Uh, also, uh, canvassing also lays the groundwork for continued relationships uh, to shape and build and modify and refine your programs. Uh, we have to go back out there again. COVID has changed some of the mindsets, some of the needs of some of our particular people. So that's where that effective exchange comes in from knowing a little bit more about where people are now at this point in time. And uh, it is vital to affect a, a exchange. You have to be able to understand what is on people's minds in order to get them back into the swing of things. And in order for you to be able to develop or provide any particular needs that they are looking for. Uh, I hope that I have been, uh, Cynthia even has to canvas communities 
when she has an applicant, when she has to look at how to best place this individual or where is that community and how it's forming and what it's going to deliver and to have the best sense of what's going on. And it's something that we each and all do every day. Um, on my last 30 seconds, so I want to say that it is something that you do. It's how you're doing it and how you're applying it makes it more worthy to you and you see better feedback from that sweat you put in from knocking doors and making it much more intimate, which is one of the other things I really love about Echo Universities. 